My name is Emily Aston. I have worked for the National Park Service for over 10 years using steel and Husqvarna gas saws for felling trees and bucking trees for various projects. And I have also spent the last year on Wheat Labs where we have done a lot of experiments to try and find the best way of doing things. One of those experiments was being able to use a variety of electric chainsaws, which I'm going to review today and share my personal opinion. But we're trying to move from the big large gas saws towards something that's better. Each one has its advantages and disadvantages and different uses. I'll just share my experience with each one, I guess. So the first saw we have here is a small steel 170. This is um, a saw that has been optimized. All gas saws have been used for many years and have the design has been improved over the years. It's a good saw. Um, it's got good components. It is a normal gas saw so you have to fill it with mixed gas and oil and you have to sharpen the chain and maintain it and sometimes it's hard to start, sometimes it's easy to start. These saws are more in the experimental phase so they haven't had as many years of improvements that the gas saws have had but these are all similar size to this this gas saw um, we've got two corded saws this is the remington saw and this is the makita both corded and we've got three um, cordless saws run by batteries um, this is the makita this is the greenworks and this is the oregon saw well, the, the remington here is is the cheapest saw and it does perform as the cheapest saw it is made of mostly plastic components, so it has a plastic sprocket and a plastic chain tensioning housing, which um, causes some issues. So in that respect, it's, it's not as nice as the others. Um, it also has a very strange oiling device so that you can't control it, and the oiler is controlled by the rotation of the sprocket. Usually, a lot of times, even when you've stopped running it, a lot of oil will leak. It doesn't have a safety for a kickback, which is, makes it a little less safe. The Remington, when you're running it, um, will, even though you do have a lot of power because it's coming from a constant source, you are limited by the fact that you may need to use a lot of extension cords, and in that way, you'll lose you'll lose some power. It does it does its job. I would say that with the plastic components and the strange oiling device you end up having to stop and troubleshoot quite often with this saw. The Makita corded. Um, this one does have a metal sprocket which is nicer um, but it does have a plastic housing for the chain tensioning which is not as nice. What we have found with the plastic chain tensioners the chains will loosen very quickly when you're using them so you end up having to stop and readjust. These plastic pieces can be broken and I've seen that happen a couple times over the last year. So in that way, um, you have to deal with cheaper components with the, these two Makitas. Um, it is also corded, so you're again just limited by how much extension cord you need to use. But it's kind of got an awkward feel to it. Um, but it'll, it'll do its job. It's not as powerful as the Remington and um, will kind of struggle to cut through anything that's bigger than say five inches but it's great for limbing things and cutting small pieces in my opinion. This is run by two um, 18 volt Makita lithium batteries which are nice because they're used for a lot of other tools and they're very quick to charge within a half an hour but this saw lasts a uh, um, sometimes only 10 or 15 minutes of actual use when I'm limbing, limbing a tree or trying to cut. It also doesn't have a lot of, of power, so I'll struggle to actually cut through a piece of wood. But it's, it's great for limbing. You'll just have to replace the batteries quite often. The biggest, the biggest complaint that I've heard from others and that I've had is that all the weight is in the back, which is very unnatural, and so you end up pushing a lot you can't usually use this saw for very long. The Greenworks, you have a 40 volt, 140 volt battery that's made by Greenworks. And um, it fits right in the center here. It feels very good in your hands, all the weight is 
in the center. And this is the battery. Um, it's it's got some good weight to it, and since it's placed in the center here, you have um, good weight distribution, so you can use this saw a lot longer. The the tool is actually doing the work for you. As far as performance goes, it can cut through some pretty large stuff, and the battery takes under an hour to charge. And I've when I first began using it, could use it. I think for maybe 40 minutes per battery, which is very good. This saw, of any of the electric saws that I've used, responds negatively to any sort of binding or pressure, which is, which happens when you're cutting a saw, but it will just completely stop if you, um, if there's any sort of tension. So you end up having to take the saw out and readjust, and um, it should be able to handle more than that, but it, it doesn't a lot of times, so it will just start beeping. So the organ saw was gifted to us and it came from eBay and it came to us brand new. Um, once again had the metal components so the chain doesn't loosen as much as uh, most of these other ones do while you're using it which is a great advantage. It also has an, an oiler that um, seems to be working very efficiently. We haven't had to, um, to do anything to adjust it which is great because sometimes the green works wouldn't oil enough and sometimes like the Remington would oil way too much so this one seems to be a good balance. It is nice it has good weight in the center very similar to the small gas saw. It also has a 40 a single 40 volt battery made by Oregon and this is what it looks like. The, the complaint with this battery is that it takes quite a long time to charge a lot longer than any of the other batteries. So I would say a couple of hours. Um, so that makes it a, makes it so that you might have to have more than two batteries if you're going to be doing a, a project. Also the running time with this one was about 20 minutes consistently. So not quite as much as the Greenworks but um, quite a bit more than the Remington. This organ saw also has a special feature where you can actually sharpen the chain, the, it's self-sharpening. So the chain is actually different from any of the other chains that you would sharpen by hand. It's designed differently where it sharpens from the top and there's actually a sharpening stone inside that's kind of hooked and you, um, you start the saw and, and lift this up and the, the stone will actually sharpen the chain in a matter of seconds. So that's certainly an advantage if you don't want to take the time to sharpen a chain. It's a good saw, doesn't quite last as long as the green works, but um, seems to be made of better components than the others and, and in my opinion might last longer than the others. Okay, if I were to, to drop a 12 inch tree, it would take under a minute for this saw. For this smaller saw, probably two minutes, two to three minutes. With the Remington, it may take four or five minutes. With the Makita saw, it would take, I would say, eight minutes. It doesn't have as much power. With the Makita cordless, it would take the most time, so it might take more than 10 minutes. The Greenwork saw, you could, I could take down a 12-inch tree probably four minutes, three or four minutes. Uh, the Oregon saw, I would say, pretty similarly, three or four minutes. Crosscut saw would probably take seven minutes because you do have to peel the tree beforehand and, and it would take two people. And a hacks would probably take 12 to 15 minutes. <laughs> If you like this sort of thing, come on out to the forums at permies.com where we talk about woodland care, homesteading, and permaculture all the time.